Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look. So this is the new, entirely modern, written in Rust, Wayland only desktop environment that System76 have been working on. I'm running this for now in VMware, although I have all of the graphics acceleration working, so it actually runs really well. Uh, you can do that, or you can, of course, you can use it on hardware. Now this is an alpha release. So not everything is quite here. I would say this is the beginning of the future. Uh, this is a really amazing uh, desktop environment for a couple of reasons. Uh, as you can see, and I, I've tested it a lot, and it is incredibly smooth. And something you'll actually find if you ever used Wayland on Linux, which has finally, because I'm recording this on native Wayland on the host, on NVIDIA, uh, which is something that has only worked for about the past few months since the 555 driver came out. So one of the things you'll notice if you ever use Wayland, besides the occasional bugs, is the smoothness of it, especially at higher resolutions. It's always been an issue on Linux, because Xorg is the old graphic stack for Linux, and it has been around longer than... so it's old. And it was designed for a very different paradigm where people used computers as terminal servers. Wayland is new, modern, and also, given the nature of this channel, vastly more secure. Now we can open our apps. Pretty much everything I've tested works. Uh, this is the, because I, I do plan on trying this on hardware, this is the video version of the driver. There's a bit of delay with launching Firefox. And this is Pop OS 2404 Beta, which is based on Ubuntu 2404. You kind of will be able to install Cosmic on any Linux distro, but for now it's mostly here. Now, the other cool thing it has is tiling. And unlike some of the more, so to turn on the tiling, we go to the automatically tile current workspace. And now, just like, say, i3, Window Manager, everything just works. And uh, you can, it's quite customizable. You know, edit your document. Oh, that's. That's one annoyance with Wayland is that at least currently, if you use it with VMware and you send a keyboard shortcut, it goes to the host, but that's not an issue with Cosmic, although it will be. And that's how tiling works. Now, personally, I'm not a huge tiling window manager person, but a lot of people are, so they are going to enjoy that. Now, the other thing that not everyone is going to care about, but of course I do as a Rust user, is the graphical apps here are all written in a Rust library called Iced. Iced is probably the most mature graphical user interface library for Rust, and it's got some nice things about it. It uses the Elm language as its main paradigm, and it happens to work really well with Rust's ownership, where a lot of GUI frameworks don't, because Qt, for example, is going to rely very heavily on interacting with all these different widgets and inheritance and things that just don't exist in Rust. So Iced is a library that doesn't require that. Something I don't like is it seems like different applications get different window controls. I don't know if that's because non-native apps don't get all of them by default or what, but I don't really like how Firefox only gets that and the other apps get all of them. It doesn't look all that consistent. I'm sure they're going to work on it. Also, when you select an app, it gets this border, which looks kind of cool. You get the window snapping options, and on the more technical side, what I, th what I think is cool is, and a lot of people won't appreciate this, and that's fine, but something that's always been impossible to achieve on Linux, and this is why, for me, I, I actually don't even bother, I just use, I just use oversized fonts with a small UI, because that's about the easiest way to do it, but look, we got fractional scaling, let's change it. It works perfectly, not just integer, and it, it's not hacked. Like, if you do this, uh, there's, on Ubuntu, it does what Mac does, where it creates a fake big resolution, and then it just 2Xs it, and it looks kind of blurry. You don't get any of that. So, perfect fractional scaling, and of course, because it's Wayland, you can use different scaling on different monitors, things that a lot of people might not think would be an issue. The top bar looks quite a bit like GNOME, but it has a dock, which GNOME doesn't, uh, because GNOME seems to believe, although then most people will actually install one, you get the Cosmic Text Editor, the Cosmic Terminal, 
a Firefox, which is not a Cosmic app. You get the settings, the file, Explorer app, and the Cosmic App Store, which is the Pop Shop. Now, one of the biggest omissions is the sound settings, but that's actually already been added on a later build of this. That's being worked out. Of course, choose your performance settings. Now, another missing thing, of course, would be the display turn-off settings, but this is an alpha, so we can't really fault them for that. Something else you get that you also got is easily being able to turn off mouse acceleration. Nobody should ever enable mouse acceleration. Got natural scrolling, just like Apple has. It inverts the direction of your scrolling. Date and time. System and accounts. Okay, that's not quite ready. Let me get the about. And we can see the, the hardware platform. And then we can see our processor. The graphics adapter we have. And it shows up, as of course, as the cosmic uh, desktop environment. So it's definitely... It's impressively solid for what it is, for an alpha, for the first release. It's not ready for prime time yet, but if you did want to install it, uh, there are there is the Arch Wiki has a good guide if you wanted to install it on Arch. Uh, on Ubuntu, I would suggest just following the compilation instructions in their GitHub. On Arch, uh, you can follow this, and otherwise, uh, it's going to be quite tricky, and you're probably better off just installing uh, the pop alpha on a separate partition, because mixing desktop environments is never a great... Uh, experience. So, and then there's components. Let's start it. It's actually on the AUR. Actually, I'm wrong. No, it's no longer, it was on the AUR the last time I looked at this, but now it's actually on the full blown R repo, so you can just install it. And of course, open source, you can just go on GitHub and you can look at uh, what the team are currently working on and all the different bits. See the, if you want to read the code for a specific thing, you can go to it. Okay, the link, uh, this is the compositor, which is really the core of any uh, Wayland uh, environment. And we can see the main, the state, uh, the systemd interaction, the theme. And of course, what is good to see is this is pretty much all, I'm sure there is unsafe code in here, but this is mostly safe Rust, which means there are not going to be memory errors, which is what makes up the bulk of security errors, and a huge number of various annoying errors are ruled out by default. Let's see if... Okay, here's here's a bit of unsafe. We've we'll got to use some. Um, but they've got comments here so you can see why this is not undefined behavior, which is good. And I like, although I know it's going to be controversial, the decision to entirely have the desktop environment running Wayland. There is X Wayland, so you can run X apps, but there is no X version of this, which A means that it's just going to be easier, there's less code, less complexity, and it's sort of helping push things towards a more modern uh, space. And if they, if they can get it to work on their hardware, which is mostly NVIDIA, that's going to be great. So let's just check the wallpaper functionality works correctly. Uh, let's find a good wallpaper for it. This one looks nice. So we'll download that anywhere, we can put it in the pictures folder. Okay, so we don't have, in Cosmic Files, we don't have the right-click uh, Make Desktop. A lot of people also don't like this setup, saying it looks really kind of out of place uh, having this top bar here. Okay, that's what that does, because that kind of looks like a GNOME hamburger menu. But I, I don't think it's too bad, it, it's just they got to have it style. Okay, so we can do it from here. And now we've got it, so all works correctly, it just takes a bit more effort to set it currently, but I'm sure that'll be fixed soon. And you get this nice uh, view that doesn't take over, you get a nice view that doesn't take over your whole screen. See, GNOME, it's really not that hard. We also get some customization, go dark, light, you can automatically switch based on the time of day, you get accent colors, of course, I always like red, uh, apply, oh, oh, that's really cool, I didn't even think you could Okay, so it really is customizable. Wow. Contain okay. Oh. Oh, that is cool. You can really control the whole thing if you want to. And you can choose whether you want it round or square. Oh, we can get rid of the active window hint if you don't like it. I like that. Because I don't like it. Experimental settings. Okay, so we can choose our icon settings. And we can try to theme no maps. I don't think we have any installed, but let's see if we can install Nautilus. See how it likes being force-themed against its will. Okay, it's not exactly, but 
it doesn't look horribly out of place. Part of that is because Cosmic and Gnome look quite similar, and it doesn't say anything about uh, theming a, a cute or KDE app, but it's a good start. Okay, I'm going to throw a complete curveball at Cosmic Desktop that it will not be able to handle. Because uh, Ghidra notoriously does not, its fonts don't scale without special settings on Linux. So we're going to see if Cosmic Desktop can conquer Ghidra. Oh, one other thing, we don't have the ability so far to do permissions in the files, but that's okay, we can just do it the proper way. The license agreement looked like it had a bigger... Okay, let's test it out at various sizes. Eh, it doesn't seem to work quite... It looks like it might be handling it better, but... Still not uh, getting a perfect score. Only notorious uh, Ghidra scaling benchmark. But, uh, if you're wondering what happens on the distros that do it the janky way, uh, that is a true sight to behold, where instead of being 150% as big, it ends up being 50%. So, we got an improvement. I don't see a lot more to test on this alpha... I've seen, from what I have seen, it doesn't behave differently on hardware. There have been a few people reporting some hitching that I have not experienced. No issues with apps, but it's still, it's early days. Uh, really, you're probably not going to want to install this on your main computer for at least a few more months. But I think probably sooner than we expect, this is going to be the dominant uh, Linux desktop of the future. I always get asked in my Discord or wherever uh, what Linux desktop I use. I always say I use GNOME, but what I'm really excited for is Cosmic, and now that Cosmic is here, I can see that, that that's... I, I'm still equally excited for the future of this project. So that's going to be all for this video. I hope it was interesting. Please let me know in the comments if you have anything you'd like to see. Uh, that is going to be all for now. Something I've been excited for for a while, and I'm really happy the final alpha came out. I kept getting delayed, but seeing that they've really got it in a pretty good state for a first release. It's good that they took the time to polish it. So that's all for now. Bye.